So do you like Firefox? And are you interested in a way to drastically improve your browser experience? Well, today I'm going to talk about an add-on that is at least very promising. So stick around. <laughs> Hey everyone, Percy Jules here. So, a little while ago I did a video on my all-time favorite add-on for Firefox, Tab Groups, which, with the arrival of Firefox Quantum, was discontinued. I was inconsolable. Luckily, recently a viewer pointed out to me that now there is a new add-on, which is very promising as a possible alternative for Tab Groups. The name of the viewer is Joachim, Hope I pronounce it correctly, otherwise I do apologize. Anyway, Joachim, thank you very much. Um, the name of the add-on is Simple Tab Groups. So that is what we're going to take a look at today, real briefly. Uh, by the way, another viewer, as a response to Joachim's response, pointed out that technically there are some differences between tab groups and simple tab groups, something with hiding tabs versus saving tabs, something like that. Well, I'm absolutely not a techie guy, so I'm not going to focus on that at all. I'm only going to focus on usability. All right, so let's go. Okay, so let me show you the basics of this add-on by using some examples. So this is an empty window, let's call it that. By the way, this is the symbol for simple tab groups. If I click it, you'll see that it is empty, but we'll get back to that in a second. So. I want to go traveling and I need some information about that. Okay, let's start searching. So suitcases, I want some information about that. Also, I want to know some stuff about backpacks and of course, I also need some info about hotels. All right, so three tabs. If this were a real search, you can imagine I would have had 10, 15, 20 tabs open possibly. But now let's leave it at that because I now remembered um, that I also need some other um, things. I need a new computer. So I want to search for a computer, but at a later moment, I would like to return to this, uh, exactly this set of tabs. All right, this is where simple tabs, simple tab groups comes in. So let's click the icon and let's create a new group. Let's call it travel. Let's click OK, and now these three tabs are part of that group. And now I want to search something else. So let's create a new group. Let's call it computer and click OK. And let's go to that group. Now I'm in a new group. It looks like a new window. It's not, it's a new group. The other tabs, the other groups are now pushed to the background, so to speak. All right, now I can start searching for other stuff. Let's search for laptop. And I also need some information about a desktop. And also, you know, it could be a tablet. You never know. So this is the second group. Now let's open the icon. Let's click the icon again. And as you can see, now I have two groups with both uh, three tabs. Now let's go to manage groups. Now, for anyone who's ever used tab groups, this will look very familiar. It's very similar. Um, this message right here reveals that it is still a work in progress. This is a message about a new feature that will be added in the future. So it's still a work in progress, but it is already very workable. Okay. Now, one thing I believe that you couldn't do with tab groups that you can do with simple tab groups is change some settings for any individual group. Well, you could do that with tab groups, but it's a bit more extensive. Let me show you. Let's click the gear icon. And as you can see here, you can change the name. You could do that with tab groups, but you can also change the color of the group uh, manually. Uh, you can change the style of the icon. And you can also change the color at random clicking this and you can even upload your own icon from your computer um, yeah and then there are some settings that I don't even know exactly what they do so I'm gonna leave it at that for now looks very nice so let's save it for now otherwise again it's very similar uh, you can click any tab and you will be taken to that tab in that particular group 
um, immediately you can drag one tab from one group to another um, okay you can also open a new tab you can open a new group so again very similar to tab groups and I believe that that is a good thing okay so one more thing so let's click the icon up here once again and again if you click to the left of the arrow on any of these groups you can switch from one group to another like this if you click to the right of the arrow now here you can also manage your group so for instance you can delete the group you can also um, access the settings right from here uh, you can uh, switch from tabs from one tab to another you can delete tabs you can rearrange tabs you can open new tabs so basically most of the options you have in the manage uh, groups window you also have them here and let's go back one step and let's right click on any of these groups and here you have some more options so many options a lot of options but basically what it comes down to of course is with this add-on you have the ability to arrange your tabs into groups and that makes it so much more convenient to browse the web that's all it comes down to now again this is an incredibly useful add-on and as I also mentioned in my previous video about uh, the discontinuation of tab groups I just do not understand why none of the browser developers have implemented this into their browsers I just don't understand but I am very happy to see that there is some development on this issue there are some people out there who are creating these kinds of add-ons for us like this developer right here so thank you very much for that um, yeah give it a try it might make your browsing experience a lot better you never know and I'm still a little bit hopeful that eventually the browser developers will integrate this also into their browsers as a uh, default functionality anyway that's all for now thank you for watching and i will talk to you soon